everyone, glad to see you. Today I want to introduce how to use our electric load HD25 and HD35. Some of you may think it is easy because you can know every function according to their introductions. However, there are still some customers who never look at our introduction. They just use our electric load as a normal electric load. And uh, this is the reason I make this video. If you guys use it as a normal electric load, you had better to get a LD25 or LD35 electric load because they can only be used as a normal load. No trigger function. And the HD25, HD35 electric load has trigger function. But if you want to use it as a normal load, it's fine. And it is the same as LD25 and LD35. Okay, let's have a look. We use HD35 as an example. First, connect to the USB tester and uh, HD35 electric load. Press the OK button and the setting current can be applied. Press the set button, you can check current power and voltage of the load. There is a fan on the top. When the working temperature is over 40 degrees or the power, the real power of the load is over 10 watt, the fan will start to work. You can see when I insert the electric load, the setting current is shiny because it is not applied yet. I need to press the OK button to apply the set current. There is a way to set the Status when it is powered on. We can long press the OK button and then see there is an on on the screen. Lose it. That means when you powered on the electric load. The set current can be used immediately. And you don't need to press the OK button to apply the set current. And when you set the status on off, you need to press the OK button to apply. Our electric load has a protection fun function. So normally it won't be burnt unless you reverse the input or use a very high voltage. There are three kinds of protection. First, over voltage protection. According to the technique parameters, the operational voltage is DC 4 volt to 25 volt. When the real voltage is between 25 volt and 30 volt, 
the output will be cut off and there will be a over voltage protection OVP on the LED screen and the device will be damaged permanently when the voltage is over 30 volt. Second, over temperature protection. When the working temperature is over 80 degrees, the output will be cut off and there will be an over temperature protection OTP on the screen. And last, over power protection. When the real power of the load is over 35 watt, 25 watt for HD 25. The output will be cut off and there will be over power protection OPP on the screen. Okay, that's all about normal load pattern. And now we can talk about the trigger function of HD35. LD series load has no trigger function. And we can control the D positive and D negative to uh, turn the charger into quick charge mode. One press the trigger button and we can see the red light is on, which means we enter the trigger setting function. Short press the trigger button, we can switch between QC 2.0 quick charge mode, red light. Press green light means QC 3.0 quick charge mode. And uh, this is AFC 9 volt. Press this. We can switch between AFC 9 volt and uh, FCP 9 volt. So the green light means two protocol. Press the trigger button again. We can see it is auto mode, which can detect the protocol, the charger, charger support. Okay. If we want to trigger QC 2.0 mode, we can press the trigger trigger button when the red light is on, stop, and press the OK button. Now the red light is shiny, which means we can adjust the vo voltage. There are four voltages when we set QC 2.0 volt. This is 5 volt. Press OK button. We can see this is QC 9.0 volt. But this interface does not support QC 9.0 volt. So I use another interface to show you. First, Press the trigger button to enter the trigger function. Short press the OK button. Now it's shiny. We can adjust. Press the OK button, you can switch the uh, voltage of QC 2.0 protocol.
my vote, my vote. Twelve vote, twelve vote. Twenty vote, it doesn't support. And you can use the same way to trigger the QC 3.0 and the FCP AFC mode as long as the charger supports these protocols. And when you switch to the auto mode, you can press the OK button and wait 25 seconds about. The LED lights can show you the protocols it can support, the charger can support. Okay, we can see there are two lights is on. We, we can see there are two lights. A red light means it can support QC 2.0 protocol and the green light means it can support QC 3.0 quick charge mode. Okay. Now I want to introduce auto trigger mode which can which is I want to show you today which means when the electric load is powered on it can output the quick charge mode you set automatically and you don't need to set uh, step by step This function is often used to do aging test to chargers And uh, this is our topic, how to batch aging charger with HD35 electric load. First, we need to insert the electric load to the charger and uh, press the OK button. Long press the OK button to set the output immediately and uh, press the trigger, fun uh, trigger button. Uh, I use QC 2.0 quick charge mode 9 volt as an example. With two seconds and the light, red light is shiny, we can set QC 9.0 volt. Long press the set button. And it is on. Then we can have a test. Nine volt. QC two point oh quick charge mode. Of course, you can set the current value. We can have a review. First step, adjust the current to what you want to set. Long press the OK button to set it on. The second step, long press the trigger button to trigger function. And uh, 
select the quick charge mode you want to set. The third step, long press the set button to set it on. And you can see the quick charge mode and the current is set immediately. Okay, thank you for watching this video. And if you have any opinions and advice, Please leave comments below this video and uh, I will reply as soon as possible. Thank you again.